What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wealth Not Wait. I'm your host, as always, Joe Tsukuiza. And oh my god, the stock market's on fire and we're all gonna die. No, I'm just messing with you. But that's essentially what the news is saying with the whole coronavirus and, and the big uh, stock market dip that we're having right now. Aside from the 2008 financial crisis, this is the worst that I have ever personally lived through. And this is the worst that I've personally gone through while being invested in the market. So this is a big deal. But if you're a value investor like I am, you look at this a little differently. You look at it like a Black Friday because things are just on sale, left and right. Call me crazy, Joe, because our prices are so low. You know, it's yeah, that's essentially what you're going for because the price of stocks are so low now. And essentially, what's happening is it's a big market shift. It's not the price is low because the stock is bad. It's just the economy is taking a hit because we can't manufacture and ship goods from China currently because of the restrictions from the coronavirus. So therefore, the stocks are taking a hit and it will for, for quite some time. Um, it could be a day, a couple days, months, weeks. I don't know. I'm not a speculator, so I'm not going to throw my hat in the ring and be like, I guarantee that you know this will be. That's not how it is. It will feel the effects for a little while, but probably by May, everything will be all right again. You know, it'll, you know hopefully. <laughs> that's essentially what we're going with. But that's what I'm saying. We don't worry about things like this or as value investors because we're not concerned because it's a big market dip. What you should be concerned about right now, if you're not already, is how do I start investing? This is the video. This is it. You know, this is how it goes. Um, if you're already investing and you're a value investor, which I applaud you, um, and you already know that you're getting some good deals, or if you're just a normal investor, you already know you're getting good deals on good value stocks. So you'll be getting better deals now that everything's on sale with a crazy sale that's going on, the Corona sale. So with that now, you may be wondering, oh, how do I start investing? If you're not already invested to begin with, which you really should be starting to invest in, you, which you should be investing no matter what, you know, emergency fund, get out of debt, investing. Those are the big financial things you need to concern yourself with. That's how you grow wealth and help yourself financially. Then don't buy stupid shit you don't need. Hashtag don't buy stupid shit you don't need. But of course, now we're going to talk about how to get into investing. Now, essentially, the first step is figuring out what you want to achieve. Investing is a goal. Okay, you have to, there are different targets you can hit. You know, everybody's like, I want to be rich. I want to make a lot of money really fast. Slow your roll. Uh, if you go with that goal, you're probably going to lose a lot of money, almost probably all your money, really quickly. The type of goal that people should be having is, do I want to save for retirement? Do I want to, you know, grow my wealth over time? Smart things to do. You know, and it's over time and investments and goals. Things like crypto and things like, Forex and you know, oh, put in $30,000 and I guarantee nobody can guarantee you anything if you're investing in an open market like the stock market. You can't guarantee any returns and if they can, that probably means they're making significant returns and keeping money from you. That's also a scam. But yeah, so the best way to figure out what goal you want to do. So do you want to start saving for retirement? Are you almost at retirement age and you want to have money already set up? And that will determine how you want to go about investing and your level of risk. Do you high risk and high reward? I'll throw all my money. If I lose it, oh well, you know, I'll figure it out. You know, I'm young. Or is it like, I don't got that much time left. I don't need to be taking risks. Just give me my couple cents for, you know, give me a couple dollars for every hundred I put in. I think we'll be all right, you know, kind of thing. At that point, that'll determine your level of risk and the type of investment you should be doing. Now, for somebody who is a very enterprising, value-based investor, that is something that I do and I pick some of my own stocks in addition to investing into index funds and whatnot. So I pick my own stocks based on a book called The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham, one of the best books, I'd say the book that revolutionized the way I did my investments and my financial situation. So based on that, you pick a stock that is valued lower than what it's worth, meaning its assets are higher than its liabilities. And if you were to liquidate the whole company and sell everything off, it'll be more than you have to pay out, which is great. So that's basically a short version of it. If you want to learn more about it, go read The Intelligent Investor. does a way better job. Benjamin Graham, teacher Warren Buffett, does a better job than I can in teaching it. That's the way to go about it. You can go about it that way. Or you can do if you're just like, I want to put money in the market. I want to save for retirement and grow my wealth. Then you could do that too. So now that you have your goal, you know what you want to accomplish. Now it comes the easy part, opening an account. It's really simple, like going online and sign up for a Gmail. You pick the company that you want to work with and you sign up for the account. That easy. It's just really that easy. Now, depending on what kind of account you want to open up, like a Roth IRA, 
They have certain tax benefits that may be good for you that I would really look into. If you're doing something more like retirement, you may want to open up a Roth IRA. Or if you just want to you know, make some investments and save money for the future, then just a normal brokerage account would be the thing to do. And we're going to go down that kind of route and talk about that. We may talk about Roth IRAs another day because they are also really important. But a normal brokerage account is almost like a bank account. You just sign up, add money to it, and then you buy and sell stocks and the stocks go up and down in value. It's that simple. You buy securities, you buy whatever you don't want through that brokerage account. Now the important part is like a bank, you have to pick the right bank. Instead of Chase's and Wells Fargo's and Bank of America's, you can do investments with them, but traditionally you just go online and sign up for a brokerage account with things like Vanguard. They've been around forever and a very big broker house, like the place for consumer investing. Um, TD Ameritrade, another really great one. Charles Schwab, another good one. And the new hot, you know, upcomer Robinhood is another really good one that you can just start. You know, you can open up an account within like 15 minutes and then start depositing money and then start making your investments. Once you have the account, it's really that simple. Um, you just sign up your bank account, put in some money. Say you want to put in $100, you start putting in $100 and then you pick the investments you want to make and you make those purchases. It's that easy. And if you sign up with Robinhood, while I'm not sponsored with them, I'll put my, uh, my code for them in the description below. If you sign up through that link, that code, I don't know how exactly how it works. Um, you get a free stock and I get a free stock. It could be anywhere from like a penny to I think hundreds of dollars. Like you may get like Apple or something for free. You know, it's randomized, completely random. I don't pick it. They don't pick it. I don't know how it is. You know, I did it before and I got some good stocks out of it. But you, you get Apple or something like that for free. That's great. But say now you have it. You have your account set up. You're like, okay, I want to save money and grow well for the future. Now the important part is you have a goal. You have the account. Get into that investor mindset. Know that the market's going to go up and down. But regardless of what it's doing, as long as you're confident in that investment, the investment that you are making is, yes, I'm going to make this investment. This is a good deal. This is what I want. I'm investing in the market. I know it's going to grow over time, over 30 years for my plan of investment. Set up an amount that you want to save consistently. Pay yourself first, say $100 every month you want to put into the market. You know. Let's just say $100 a month. You know, I would advise more than that, but let's just say $100 a month you want to put into the market. You have to save that $100 and, and make the investment regardless whether everything's doing really great and it's amazing and yeah, or it's doing really bad and boo, no, I should be pulling money out. No. Regardless of what the market's doing, if you're investing in the market, you're investing in index funds for things like the Dow Jones, or the S&P 500, if you're investing in index funds, you continue making those investments. And if you same thing with value investment, as long as you know that you're still getting a good deal on that stock, that stock has that value investment and meets the criteria for it, you continue putting money into it until you feel it's not a good investment, it's so high you want to sell it, or you're just like, I'm making another investment with something else now. It's that simple. Continue making the investment regardless of what's happening in the market, whether it's going up or down, like right now, the market's really down. Everything's horrible, doom and gloom. I'm just like, I'm already going to be investing, but now I'm going to investing and I'm getting a great deal on these things. These good investments are now turned into really great investments because now they're on sale. Now they're 30% off. You know, now it's great. This is amazing. I was going to do it anyway, but now I'm excited and still, and I'm still going to do it, you know? And if it was going really great and they were extremely well priced and they were fair for the value, I'd still be making that investment regardless of how it was because it's important to get in that investor mindset. Things are going to grow, they're going to lose, and they're going to add value. Um, but you have to continue making that investment as so long as you know that investment is the right investment that you're making. So that's basically it. Have a goal. Pick the way you want to do it. You're more passive and just invest in the market. Or you're more you know, an active kind of person who's like, I'm going to pick all my own stocks. Usually not the best idea, but if you follow value investment methods and follow the, the teachings of Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, and you do it right, you might be able to make some money out of it. I traditionally tell people just to invest in an index fund, some index funds, some bonds, you know, find the right ratio or the right risk for you, and just start investing. It's that simple. Open up account, and then you're done. Just keep doing it every month. Make your investments every week, however you want to set it up. Make your investments, and then before you know it, you're investing, and then when you're in your you know, 50s or you're in your 60s, you know, say 65 and you're ready to retire, you're going to be like, wow, I was really happy to do that. After paying off all your debts and getting an emergency fund, investing is the smartest thing you can do. You have to start doing it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps with the channel. Uh, let me know, are you going to start investing now? The answer should be yes. And if you are already investing, talk to me about it. How do you guys invest? How do you set everything up? I love hearing from the community and I love hearing about other people's investments and how, how they kind of think about it and how they feel, you know, they're going to do it. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.